All right, buongiorno, what's poppin'? It's your boy Big Rich, early Saturday morning, waking big business. Let's get right down to it. By the way of the Gangster Report by Scott Bernstein, Windy City Mob says goodbye to Marco D'Amico, Elmwood Park Power dead at 84. Chicago Mafia elder statesman Marco the Mover D'Amico died this week at the age of 84. Rest in peace. D'Amico served as a top advisor and official conciliary to a longtime outfit Don John Johnny No Nose De Fronzo, who passed two years ago of a dementia related illness. De Fronzo took power in the Chicago Mafia in the early 1990s. D'Amico and Johnny No Nose both hailed from the outfit's Elmwood Park crew and were known as seasoned old school gangsters of the First Order. In addition to being shrewd businessmen in the white collar world and making millions of dollars legitimately, in addition to being shrewd businessmen in the white collar world and making millions of dollars legitimately. While De Fronzo was a low key and more deliberate in his demeanor, the Amico was a partier and famous in the Windy City mob circles for being a man about town on Rush Street in his swinging heyday. His reputation for fast living gave away to D'Amico's nickname, The Mover, as in Mover and Shaker. D'Amico was indicted in November of 1994 in the U.S. District Court on a slew of racketeering counts. The feds hit him with the full Monty, so to speak, bookmaking, loan sharking, and extortion dating all the way back to the late 1970s. Per the indictment, D'Amico ran executive card games high-stakes poker for high rollers, and sponsored crews that robbed competing games, including one that planned to knock off a purported million-dollar game in the resort town of Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. He pled guilty in the case and did 10 years in prison. The Amico was released in the summer of 2005. Spending his final years of his life in the Chicago suburb of Westchester, D'Amico gave counsel to and his brother, Greedy Petey, and often delivered messages to capos across the city. FBI surveillance squads followed D'Amico to meeting with higher-ups in the Grand Avenue, Cicero, and Elmwood Park crews on numerous occasions in the first half of the 2010s, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office memo distributed in 2017. The memo mentions D'Amico briefly being sidelined from his conciliary duties when the outfit went through a regime change from the Fronzo to the organization's current reputed boss, Salvatore Sali D. De Laurentiis. So first of all, salute to Scott Bernstein in the Gangster Report. Second of all, rest in peace to Marco D'Amico. Good article. Sorry to hear that you passed away. May you rest in peace. Everybody have a lovely Saturday morning. Like, comment, share, and definitely let me know what you're throwing in the atmosphere. Salute.